Good morning, Finville families. It's Mrs. DeRue. Hey, sorry I didn't get a video up yesterday. A lot going on. Totally forgot what day it was. Forgive me. Hey, back to read some more Hank Zipser. Last time when we read Hank Zipser, um, Hank discovered that his sister Emily's red socks with the monkeys on them were kind of his like his lucky socks and um, he hid them from his sister because they're her lucky socks too and he's hoping that those lucky socks will help him when he takes his test today because he kind of forgot to study a little bit for it you know he started studying but then he forgot so we'll see how he does it says on the way to school I gave the monkeys a pep talk I need you boys you got to give me everything you know about Native Americans, especially Hopi, pottery, kachina dolls, rain dances. Let me have all of it. Hey guys, here's a warm up. What year was the What year was the chief's house, the oldest house in America built? 1145, you say? That's right. You're cooking now. And they were. Those monkeys pulled me through. I got a B minus on my social studies test. Do you think it's really because of the monkey socks or do you think it's because he did study some? I don't know. We'll never know, I guess. I don't know if a B minus is a good grade to you, but let me tell you this. In the world of yours truly, Hank Daniel Zipser, that is a good grade. A solid gold A. It's as good as a solid gold A. Go monkey socks! Dr. Berger, Dr. Berger, I yelled before I even got through the off her office door. Hey, slow down, Hank, said Miss ha Hazel, the other special education therapist. Where's the fire? Me, I'm on fire. I just have to talk to Dr. Berger. Is she here? Who's Dr. Berger? Oh, yeah. She's the person who helps him study different so that because he doesn't understand how to study and it's hard for him to read. Dr. Lynn will be back in a minute. Have a seat, offered Mrs. Helzel. I sat down on one of the metal legged chairs with the blue plastic seat, but I couldn't sit still. My knee was shaking up and down and it had a, like it had a motor on it. After a second or two, I decided my butt was not comfortable, so I slid over to the yellow seat. But I didn't stay long on that one either because Dr. Berger, who likes to be called Dr. Lynn, walked in. Without stopping, she said, nice to see you, Hank. Why don't you join me in my office? I got up and followed her into her office, which has these really great posters on the wall. One shows a basket overflowing with puppies, and every time I see them, I just want to take one of them home. Then Cheerio would have a friend to chase instead of his tail, and they both could keep Katrine or Catherine in line. Sorry. So how did the book on tape work out? Dr. Lynn asked. Oh, that's what I wanted to see you about, I said. I have to tell you two important things, but you have to keep what I'm about to tell you a secret, and please don't laugh. Oh, I, can, I think I can handle those requests, she said, smiling. You're not going to tell me you got in trouble at home for listening instead of reading, are you? No, no, nothing like that. It's weirder. I took a deep breath. My insides felt like I could trust her. What do you think he's going to tell her? Hmm. I got a B minus on my Hopi test, and do you know why? Um, yes, I do, because it's easier for you, Hank, to absorb information through your ears than through your eyes. Nope, it's the monkey socks, I blurted out. Dr. Lynn raised an eyebrow and started playing with the pearls around her neck. It's because of my sister's lucky red socks with pink monkeys, I went on. I put them on by mistake yesterday, and now look! I did really well on my social studies test, and I also threw a softball faster and stranger than I ever have in my whole entire life. Wait a second, Hank. Let's back up, Dr. Lynn said. There was a smile waiting to burst across her lips, but I saw her catch it before it turned into a laugh. She's a person who keeps her promises. You're telling me you think... No, I know, I interrupted. I'm telling you, even Frankie said it was the lucky monkey socks. They have cured my learning problems. It's a miracle. Do you think so? Hmm. 
That sounds wonderful, Hank. But can we look at another possibility? Dr. Lynn asked. Sure, Dr. Lynn, lay it on me. Let's start with throwing the softball. Was there anything different about it, she asked. Like were, where you were or what you did? Well, just the place we played, I answered. My grandpa suggested we play catch in the courtyard of our building and not in the park. Really? Why did he do that? Dr. Lynn wanted to know. Because of the monkey socks, I whispered. I didn't want anyone to see them. And if we went to the park, everyone would. What does the courtyard look like, she asked. Regular, a big square with building walls on all four sides, I answered. Hmm, is it closed off from the street? Yeah, I said. Have you ever been down there? No, Hank, I haven't. But let's look at the possibility that because it's quiet and isolated, there are very few distractions to take your mind off your task at hand, Dr. Lynn explained. You were able to concentrate on throwing. Hmm. At the park, there's lots of things that might distract Hank from what he's doing. But in the courtyard, there's nothing to distract him. Now that I think of it, it was quiet down there. But you should have seen me pitch that ball. Amazing is what it was. No, Dr. Lynn, a pitch like that has to happen by magic. It was the socks. Besides, it has to be because they worked again on the test. Hank, don't you see? The bell rang, which meant that lunch period was over and I had to get to class. My teacher, Mrs. Adolph, sends you to the principal's love's office when you're late too many times. Thanks for listening, Dr. Lynn, I said as I raced out of her office door. Remember, you promised not to tell anyone and promise is as sacred as the Hopi. I'll keep my promise, Hank, but we have to continue this conversation, Dr. Lynn called after me. I charged down the hall to my class. I think the monkey socks were making me run even faster than usual. Wow, they were powerful. Do you think the socks are really what's going on? Or do you think Hank studied and because he didn't have any distractions, he was better at pitching? We'll have to find out tomorrow. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you're enjoying your time off with your family. Make sure you go outside and read a book. Also, hmm, your challenge today is sing a song with your family. Have a great day. Bye.